All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at the Renogy, the future of clean energy. This is a solar panel with charge controller, 12 volt. And this would be great to have in your bug out car, in your house, uh, in case of a bug out or something like that. This is a portable unit. Um, it's slightly expensive compared to, say, a, a similar wattage panel that isn't portable. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than a non-portable one. So if you were like on a setting up solar for a house or a cabin in the woods, this might not be the first choice. But it's going to work great, and for a bug-out situation, it's going to be better. So it comes with this nice carry case that's it's soft, but it, it's firm. It's got pretty good protection. Let me go ahead and get it back here. Take it out. Okay. Inside of here, we have our solar panel, and it's 60 watts. We have two 30 watt panels. We have this side and this side. It's monocrystalline. Now we have just two little clamps up here. I'm going to undo those. Get this out of the way for a second. And open this up. And inside here, we're going to have some legs that we can. Uh, adjust up here. I'll just put them to about here. And you can adjust the angle of your solar panel this way. And we'll get it right about to there, the same spot as the other side. Now in here have our instructions of course, which there's really not too much to it. And we have our alligator clamps here, which these are going to go directly to a battery. So to charge up a 12 volt battery like a car battery. Up here we have our charge controller and all the wiring and everything needed for all in one unit. So basically all you do with this unit is you set it up and plug it into your battery. So this unit we would put up here. Let me make sure I don't put this down on anything. And it would sit outside in the sun as such with our alligator clips back here running up to our battery. So 60 watt panel is going to provide a good amount of energy, keep a car battery charged every day. You're not going to be able to run a huge bank of let's say eight batteries, you know, eight car batteries and keep them all, all charged. You would need more solar for that. But this is a big panel that's going to do a good amount and I've got a battery over here. Now it's good to have at least one battery in your bug out uh, set. I have a 40 uh, amp hour VMAX charge tank. It's an uh, AGM battery. It's just in the box here. But batteries you should have at least one. The nice thing about batteries in a bug out situation is if you have your solar panel and your charge controller which this solar panel comes with, you can find a battery anywhere. Every car has a battery. So have at least one but you could find more batteries. So other than your solar panel here, this is a real nice panel. It's the first time I've looked at it. And um, I've read lots of great reviews on this. Like I said, you can get a little bit cheaper, but you're not going to get an all-in-one portable unit. So really nice uh, Ren Renault G, and it's uh, the 60 watt. They have a 100 watt version as well, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but 40 more watts. So that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and put the solar panel just on the ground while I discuss some other things. So if you got a solar panel and you got a battery, now what are you going to do with that? Well, in a bug out situation, you may need power for all types of things. I mean, people take power for granted and you might think, oh, you know, why do I even need power in a bug out situation? Well, there could be some things that could come in very useful if you have them. So you got your battery and you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need an inverter. Now this is a 600 watt modified sine wave. You can get bigger watt, you can get pure sine wave. Modified sine wave will do pretty much everything, um, but the pure sine wave, they're a lot more expensive, but they are technically better. They'll run more types of appliances, but we're not going to be running big appliances, computers, stuff like that. We're going to be using this to charge up certain things. In a bug out situation, it might be hard to find batteries over time. so. I've got these uh, radios and these work on rechargeable batteries, but how am I going to charge them? You know, I could run my car, 
charge them off my car, but you don't want a dead battery in the car, you don't want to waste gas. So these I could charge off my solar with my inverter and my battery. Also flashlights. 2000 lumen uh, rechargeable flashlight here. So this one has a lithium ion battery. It should last for a couple of years at least with daily use. And um, you know, something like this, you can recharge it then. You're not going to have to be putting new batteries in all the time and running out when you need it. So that's a couple things you can do. I wanted to go ahead and just test this because I just got this inverter today. And I wanted to just test the inverter. So the inverter should be real simple. You pl plug up your uh, negative to your negative, your positive to your positive. Make sure I got the colors right. Yep. Little little spark there. And then go ahead and turn it on. And it's running. Now the fan is only going to run if it gets hot. Turned on for a second, then it turned off. Green light just came on. I guess that's showing that something's plugged in, or maybe it just turned green on me when I plugged it in. Now we should have light. So even if you had um, a couple really cheap LED lights, not cheap, I mean low power consumption, or these compact fluorescent bulbs, you could have power then and have light at night. You know, it, you might not always be having a fire, you don't have a fire inside your structure wherever you're going to be. So you could have light this way too. And the, a light like this would run for a long time off a car battery. LEDs would be even better. So there's all types of uses for this. Just wanted to kind of go over it. It's some new stuff I got here. And um, I just think it's kind of cool stuff to have, important to have. And I'm going to use it for camping even. You know, when I go car camping for a couple nights, just throw my solar panel in there. It really doesn't take up much room. It's not that wide when it's uh, in the pa uh, package here. Just put it up along the side of my car in the back, take my battery and my inverter, and when I'm out camping, I will have uh, pretty much unlimited power. I have some smaller solar panels. I could show you these real quick, too. I've reviewed some of these in the past. And these ones are good to have as well. I think these are all about 10 watt. This one, I think, is a 10 watt. These are good to have as well, these smaller panels. Um, but they just charge USB devices, though. They're not going to charge a 12-volt uh, battery. So this one's a good one. I think it's by Sun Tactics. That's a good brand. Also, these are kind of expensive. This is 5 watt, but it puts out one amp. And, uh, you know, so you can charge a phone, uh, something like this, a camera, whatever, at one amp. And um, I think these are around 100 bucks as well, just for a 10 watt. Or a 5 watt, I mean, one amp, though. These are really high quality, waterproof, hard hard plastic not going to break real easy but again these only charge USB devices so they're good too and you could charge things like a USB battery backup during the day like uh, you know these battery backup things and then at night you could charge anything uh, or use a light that uses USB um, there are little LED lights that plug directly into USB so you know you could go with a smaller setup like this as well. And you know, this would charge uh, my radios here. Not gonna charge my big light though, I'm pretty sure this needs a DC or AC plug. So you know, there's, there's all different types of things, but this is gonna be awesome for car camping. And if you ever need it for a bug out situation, you have it as well. So I just thought I'd go over that stuff, give you guys some ideas, talk about the products a little bit. Have any questions about the solar stuff, let me know. Happy camping, see y'all later.